January 12, 1996, NORAD reaches out to the Brazilian government and informs them that an unidentified flying object was entering the atmosphere. The object's trajectory put it on a path towards the southeastern portion of the country. During the early hours of January 13th, the object crash-landed in a field seven miles outside the small city of Virginia. It was seen by over a thousand people as it flew over the city, but ultralight enthusiast Carlos de Souza personally witnessed the actual crash. It took only minutes for the Brazilian government to show up, and its military locked down the perimeter. However, something or some things were already on the run. Over the next week, farmers in the area reported sightings of strange goblin-like beings lurking around their fields as well as eerie lights and sounds coming from the forests. On January 20th, three girls, Lillian Silva, Valkyra Silva, and Katia Xavier kicked off a spat of alien sightings within the city when they spotted one of these EBEs crouched down near a wall in an empty lot. Several hours later, Officer Marco Cheres and his partner spotted an entity very similar to the one seen by the three girls. Except this time, Officer Cheres chased the entity down and physically detained the creature with his bare hands. They then delivered the being to a hospital in Virginia. It was reported that it not only left a sticky, oily residue behind that smelled incredibly bad and clung to Officer Shara's skin and uniform, but it also scratched his arm. Within the next couple days, Officer Shara's would become very sick with a mysterious infection and he would die by early February. On January 21st, a man dubbed Military X by documentarian James Fox reported that he took part in a military convoy that had left the nearby Issa Army base for the Humanitas Hospital in Virginia. While at the hospital, Military X witnessed Secret Service members and other Army personnel as well as doctors analyzing a dead creature within the stainless steel box. On the morning of January 22nd, C-17 transport planes marked with United States Air Force insignia landed unannounced in the neighboring city of Campinas. They then flew by helicopter to Virginia where they picked up the bodies of three dead entities as well as five living ones and the collected crash debris. American agents then loaded the EBEs and crashed material onto the C-17s and flew off, forever marking this event as one of the greatest UFO extraterrestrial encounters ever witnessed.